The first thing you need to do is download the correct RAR file, the 32-bit or the 64-bit, whatever's best for your system. You should be able to figure that out somehow. And open it up. Take the script.avs in the MSU field shifter, field shift fixer, and set them aside. Then you want to open the K-Lite codec pack and make sure you uh, click custom selection and scroll down and make sure you check X264 and Huffy Yuv, H-U-F-F-Y-U-V install that the rest of the way then you want to install AVI synth and then open the virtual dub RAR file copy these and put them in a folder somewhere after that you want to open virtual dub and find your dazzle then go to actually just before that go capture AVI device find your dazzle okay I don't have anything plugged into my dazzle right now but then you go to video compression and you want to click on this one, the Huffy Y, okay, H U F F Y U V, V 2.1.1, or any previous or uh, version after this one. Click on, let me see here. One second. Okay, just click OK. Then go to Video Levels and copy the ones I have here. You want 122. 24, 59, 48, and 4. Then after that, you want to go to video and video source and make sure you have the correct one here that you're using. Then you want to go to video and then capture pin right here. Make sure you have YUV2, 720 by 480 quality is at 1 and this will probably be different if you live in the UK or Europe or United States United States should be it should be NTSC you can adjust the frame rate if you want I'd keep it around 29.97 apply okay after that what you want to do is you want to go to file set capture file and you basically are saving your file before you capture it so you could just say I'm going to say test and then click save and then you would go capture capture video record what you want and then of course then you'd after that then you'd hit stop capture and then you uh, now you're going to start using the MSU field shifter so make sure you have the AVI synth installed and I'm gonna, I made a folder called Capture, which is right here. You could, it doesn't matter what, what what folder you have. Put the AVI you just captured. So I already have my AVIs that I captured in here. So then you take the MSU Field Shift Fixer, which I have in here already, and the script.avs in here. And then if you look closely, Let's go to edit with notepad, plus plus, it doesn't really matter, I'm sure it will open with anything you have. AVI source, okay, AVI source, discovery tomahawk spot is what mine is called, which is right, well I deleted it I guess. So say I want to pick the, okay say you saved yours as discovery tomahawk spot 3, so you would put it in there as whatever yours is then click control s to save it and then the script.avs you want to drag it over onto the virtual dub file and so so you just open the A, the avs file in virtual dub then what you want to do is you want to click on video compression which is right there and go to the x x264 and then click configure and then make sure you have single pass bitrate bit based 
and average bit rate. You're supposed to have it around 5,000, but I think the higher you go, the better. And the lower it is, the lower file size. So if you had it way down here, it'd be bad quality, but the lowest file size. So I'm just, for this video, I'm just going to keep it at 6,000. And then you go into, let's see, okay, okay, file, save as AVI. And I'm just going to say test edited by VDub. Save. This will. Okay, so now, if I open Vegas, you will see that the capture, let's see, cat, right here, test edited by VDub. It won't open in Vegas. I'll prove that to you now. None of the files could be opened. So now what we do is we take, convert AVI to MP4, which was in the down, uh, which was in the RAR file. You open that. Open the AVI right here. mp4 will go right into Vegas look at that you can play it and everything One confession. 